all straightened. I think that looks okay. And not too bad, not too bad. All right, not too bad at all. The exact uh, aspect ratio when I'm doing my car reviews, doing stuff. Very nice, very nice. 20 seconds in, as you guys are watching this right now, thank you so much for jumping on the replay. I appreciate it. If you guys are liking what you're seeing already, I know we're just starting. Let's see what happens here. Friday situation indeed. Drew, what it do? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you can see me okay and hear me okay. That would be greatly appreciated right now. Just want to make sure everything is looking good and sounding good on your end. Great to have you guys on here right now. Looks like it's beginning to jump in. Some people are beginning to showcase themselves in the... Uh, Area above my phone. Happy Friday. Thanks so much for jumping on, Ed Keaton. Appreciate you. Give me that thumbs up. Let me know everything is looking good and sounding good on your end. Want to make sure everything is good. This is going to be fun. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Brian Olson, what's up? How you doing? Great to see you. Hello, hello. We got 12 people in effect here right now. Appreciate you jumping on. Thumbs up from Ed Keaton. Good. Very cool. Excellent, excellent. We'll get started in just a few minutes here, guys. Thanks so much for jumping on. Lucky Irish 89. Hey, how you doing? Great to see you. Welcome to the show tonight. We'll get the official intro going here in just a bit. This should be a lot of fun, I think. Hopefully, we'll see. Russ McAfee, how you doing? Great to see you on here. We got Dom's World made it as well. Thanks so much for jumping on here as well, too, guys. I appreciate you. And of course, we've got Drew. And my boy, Ed in effect, seven people watching this here right now. Make sure you share the stream out with all the peeps that you know right now. Trust me, they're going to want to see what's about to go down here in just a few minutes. So this should be pretty fun for you, I have a feeling. So uh, yeah, let me know if, um, if you guys are liking what you're seeing. Give me that thumbs up. Let me know everything is still looking good. We are on 5G in effect here right now. Shout out to the California Post. Armando, Baron Gaming and Film. Thanks so much for jumping on. Maureen. Descatado, thanks so much. Appreciate you from San Diego, California. Greetings and salutations from up here in Pasadena, California. Thank you so much for coming on. Magic Wand, hey, how you doing? Happy pre-holidays to everybody here. We're almost to the halfway point of the month, guys. I can't believe it right now. So it's crazy. So amazing situation. It's a little chilly out right now. It's about 45 degrees, uh, give or take. Uh, so I don't need my little uh, portable fan going here right now. But I do have my phone powered up with my backup battery this is actually plugged directly in here and i'm gonna need it for obvious reasons very soon love food like i do hey thanks so much for jumping on pablo how you doing as well we got emerson in here as well too randy molina thank you so much for jumping on we got 20 peeps in the house eight, eight thumbs up let me see if we can get a few more of those thumbs up in there and please guys make sure you share the stream out with all the peeps that you know uh this is going to be pretty fun tonight i have a feeling Keep your mask on for the new year. Yes, Armando, absolutely that. You already know what it is. Happy Hanukkah to you as well, Emerson, if you celebrate. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Happy holidays to all of you guys. I hope this stream finds you all amazingly well. Let's see, Mommy, Too Seductive 3 says, loving the hairstyle. You know what? I got to go for a trim. The wifey's going to be giving me a trim this weekend, and uh, I need to get it taken care of. So, yes, welcome to the lovely situation, Drew. I appreciate you. Hopefully the uh, the kitties are doing all right by you. Tazzy and the rest there. What it do, Chris C. Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. We'll get started in just a couple of minutes here. I think as soon as we get to the 8 o'clock point, let me see here. I've got another minute or two. Let's see if we can get above 30 people watching here right now, and then we'll get started. Yes, Michael, we are mobile, but there's something else. <laughs> you shall see. Great to see you. David P., you never know, but all will be revealed very soon. Spaz5, what to do, man? Thanks so much for jumping on. No worries. The fact that you're here, I appreciate you. I appreciate the support. Ziggy had to go to the vet. He's sick. Oh, man. Hearts and salutations going out to Ziggy. I am sorry to hear that, Drew, for sure. I'm a huge animal lover myself, and that's definitely not cool. So a very speedy recovery. Guys, if we can get some cat emojis here in the chat right now. We got 28 people watching. I'm sure a few of you can put a cat emoji. Give me a cat emoji and some hands up right now. If you guys don't have Emojipedia open on your, uh, your and like a secondary tab on your browser, if you have actually, if you're on a desktop, please do that for me. Great to see you on here again. Foodie food review. Yes, Freddie, we are going to be doing one. Actually, we're going to be doing two. Um, we got something here for the uh, latter part of the stream as we go. I'm going to see how this is going to go. This is going to be interesting, uh, but we'll see if uh, we can get this going in just a second here for you. Jessica Smith, never caught a live, 
but I watch your videos. Peep this out. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the guys and girls out there who watch my channel, and I appreciate all the kids do as well. Of course, it's always family-friendly entertainment. Uh, naturally, it's just me giving my opinion on what I'm eating naturally, but if you guys are getting something from that, I appreciate you greatly. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all of you guys. Appreciate you. Kyle Broussard, my favorite part is when Drew does the live stream and goes, Tazzy interrupts Drew and says, Tazzy, stop. <laughs> yeah, the cats get into everything. That is definitely true. That is definitely true. Yes, I've seen the salted caramel coffee. There's a few other things over at Jack too, Drew. There is a lot that's been going on. You guys have been jacked all week by me, literally, <laughs> with the exception of Taco Bell today. So it is what it is. So guys, we're two folks away from 40. That was my magic number to get started with this one here. And actually, we're actually doing pretty well on time. It's just a minute past eight here. So if we can get jump up to 40, we'll get the show on the road for you here right now. And we'll get the official intro in there. And then we will definitely uh, have some fun with this. I have a feeling this is going to be fun. That's for sure. I'm looking forward to this right now. So excited to be here with you. And uh, again, I appreciate you share the stream out with all the peeps that you know, obviously. And if you haven't hit that thumbs up down below, please do that. And, if, and while we're on the topic of like, sharing, and subscribing, subscribe to the channel. Brand new content every single week. All that fun stuff there. We'll make sure we, uh, we do the official intro in just a second. Armando says he thinks Carl's Jr. should do a classic chicken sandwich. Everybody and their mother is doing a classic chicken sandwich to some degree. So I'm sure we'll see uh, something from the other guys as well. Uh, we'll definitely have to see what's happening there for sure. But it is great again to be here with you on a very cold, chilly Friday night stream here, guys. Pretty unbelievable right now. December 11th, I believe it is. It's just, it's just crazy. 40 plus degrees outside. And I got to tell you, I'm beginning to feel it already. So we're going to get started in just a second. And uh, even if we don't get to that 40 mark, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll accumulate people as we go. E. Ricard, why out of the studio? You will see, E. You will see. It is coming uh, very, very soon here. And yes, Brendan, very uh, a lot of chicken sandwiches that are out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Randy, have I tried Bagel Bites Bagel Dogs? Not in a very long time. <laughs> Not in a very, very long time. Let's see here. Going down the line. Drew says, yes, they dropped by a jack and they have a few new items. Yes, yes, yes. Chris C., what part of Cali are you in? The San Gabriel Valley, Pasadena, California. Are we going to go look at Christmas lights? No, no, I can't gu definitely guarantee we're not doing that right now. But I am going to be giving you a little bit of a present early um, because this is going to be something pretty fun, I have a feeling. For some of you longtime peeps who are, are familiar with my channel from back in the day, and E, I know you're one of them, uh, once we get going, you're probably going to figure it out uh, exactly here. But this should be a lot of fun, if anything. I wanted to do something a little bit different tonight, too. That was the main reason. And uh, also, uh, in terms of discussing this with my wife and, and obviously with family, uh, shout outs to the moms, too, right now. Mama Peeps is watching this right now. She wanted to uh, let me all let you guys know that, yes, she's out there watching the channel as well. I don't know why she would want me to do that. But just so you guys know, Mama Peeps wishes everybody a very happy holiday as well. On top of that there. So, Mama Peeps, love you. And uh, this one's going to be for you. This should be a lot of fun here. As soon as we hit that magic 40, it looks like we're about to jump up to it here in just a second. 39. We'll get started in just a second on top of it there. Shout outs to Mama Peeps from E. Ricard, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And boom, there it is. We got 40 amazing peeps in the house here right now. We can officially get started. So, guys, you ready for this right now? Let, give me see a thumbs up here in the chat if you guys are ready for the stream to officially kick in here right now. And uh, we'll get to it there. Critical East Japan. Paul is jumping in. I appreciate you jumping in here, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are about to get it going. Guys, without a doubt, you guys are watching Ian K, creator, producer, and host from Peep This Out Reviews. Right now in the mobile studio, I produce what I like to call high-quality foodie features. And guys, it's the holiday season. I wanted to kind of get out of the office just a little bit and do something fun that we haven't done in a very, very long time. So with that said, if you guys haven't taken a look at my channel recently, just in case here, there's plenty of stuff and playlists that are locked up all around around my channel, I should say, pretty much all over my channel. I've got playlists to all of your favorite fast food restaurants and a few things in between. So take a look around. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. Down below, you're probably going to find out that, that thumbs up down over there, the red subscribe button. Make sure you hit that. Brand new content every single week. And should you guys wish to contribute to the channel, if you like what you're seeing here tonight, for sure. Um, and just in general, if you want to support the channel, you guys will be in the description notes down below for this replay, which will be live. The next day, Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I greatly appreciate all the love and support from all of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You'll find a multitude of links on how to do that down below. Annette Cervantes, what it do? 
Great to see you on here right now. Great to see you on here. So it is time to get ready for action. So without a doubt, let's just do just that. And this is not just product placement just for the sake of product placement, okay? Because we are going to be having some fun here right now and you are all coming along with me. So where are we going? All will be revealed. Let's pop the lights on and get it on. Here we go. You guys know I like to bring the heat. I like to bring the goods to you guys. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing right now. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of what I do on the side in a more structured format. But we're going to do it live. And I thought, you know what? Let's have some fun with this right now and uh, get it going. So we are going for a drive. And we are pulling into a spot that you guys are going to recognize right away. Because even though you're not going to see it initially, I am actually going to go through and get something and then we're going to review it and we're going to have a good time while we are doing it right now so you guys are about to get the full-on experience of what i do on my channel right here live on peep this out reviews so let's get it going let's see here yeah we know exactly what we're going to get let's get it All right. Let's see what we got here. Hey, my friend. How you doing tonight? Hey, you know what? Uh, peep this out. Let me go for an order of those sauced and loaded tots, and I want to go for the uh, the cheddar bacon variant, please, if I could. Yeah. And a cup of water too. That'd be awesome. Bacon, right? Uh, yeah, the uh, cheddar bacon and just a cup of water to go with it. That's it. That would be for you. Cool, brother. Thank you, man. All right. So, yes, we are officially here in Jack in the Box. <laughs> I figured, why not? You guys have been jacked all week. How could I not do something kind of fun, something similar to close out Jack Week, technically? Then by coming here live and uh, and doing a show for you right from here. And we did this actually, I think it was about a year ago this time that this actually happened. So fortunately, with my luck too, we've got a few open spots around this, this location over here and this should be a lot of fun. We'll pull in and do what we gotta do. So yes, the second drive through live stream, that was the one where I had to go through twice because they messed up. That's right, you are absolutely correct there, Annette. That was a lot of fun, I gotta tell you. It is what it is and absolutely, Doris Fan 91 just getting a cup of water for this time. That's the only thing. All right, here we go. We're going to be pulling up here right now. And again, guys, thank you so much for jumping onto the stream here right now. Again, share the stream out with all the peeps that you know before this food review goes officially into effect once we get parked so we can get and see exactly what this is going to be. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty tasty. I'm going to make sure I get an extra fork or two because I can always keep it as a stash here just in case. So here we go. All right. Hello, hey, Hello. yeah, how you doing? Thank you. I'm doing good, thank you. Very cool, very cool. Hey, question for you. Tots or curly fries? What are your favorite? I can try uh, the new stuff, just the curly fries. Curly fries? Yeah. Those are always bomb. That's like a signature yeah. here, but very cool, very cool. Thank Excellent. You. you betcha. Appreciate you. Thanks. All right. Well, they haven't tried the toss just yet, but we'll see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Is this your first time trying them? Actually, second time. Oh, second time. time. Yeah, I did the jalapeno ranch, and those were ridiculously delicious. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so this cheddar bacon, thats it's like a cheddar yeah. cheese sauce, and is it like, it's a real bacon bits? Yeah. Real. Okay, cool. Bacon. Nice, nice. Looking forward to it. We're online right now, like with a whole bunch of people watching, so uh, okay. we're having some fun here on a Friday night, oh, just hanging okay. out here, so it should be good. What was your name? Roxana. Roxana. Roxana is rocking it over here at Jack in the Box. I got to tell you in Pasadena here. Appreciate you. Thank you. Any <laughs> uh, Let's go for a little bit of ranch just in case. Yeah, it'll be good. Thank you. Very slick. It's always cool when you interact with nice people. I got to tell you. I have some pretty good luck with a lot of the places around where I do my shooting. So this is kind of fun. And they're busy in there. And there's nobody actually in here. It's just all the people that are kind of like doing their thing. So pretty cool. It's 
if you guys are actually chatting away here, what do you prefer? Curly fries, pots? What are some of your favorite types of fries? Let's get a conversation going here with all the amazing people in the chat. We got 49 awesome peeps here watching. Man, I can get into this right now. I'm actually excited to try this because like I said in my initial review, you got to get them crispy. You got to get right to it when you get these. Yes, high five to Roxanne. They're saying high five to you right now. High five. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Actually, you know what? Can I get a cup of water also? Yeah, that'd be great. And we got four. Yes. Awesome. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. Stay frosty, all right? Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Very, very fun interaction. All in one take live, too. <laughs> pretty fun right there all right and we got a spot right here in the middle guys I am excited now oh my god I can't believe this is actually the spot that I was in when I first did my review the first time that is pretty crazy right now so let me back into this carefully hang on one second and try and make sure I do this correctly there we go all right very nice. And again, guys, I appreciate you being here right now. I can tell you, I feel very, very honored and privileged to be able to make the content that I do and to interact with you guys and to just have a good time doing it. And I got to tell you, this is just a lot of fun to do for me and for hopefully you guys to enjoy. If you guys like what you're seeing, let's see a thumbs up here in the chat and uh, we'll get it going here for you. There we go. I think I'm back far enough. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, cool. Guys, all at one time, that is pretty awesome. Thumbs up for Michael Domeyer, appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's crack the window here because it is going to actually get a little steamy, I'm sure. So this is pretty much what I do. When I do my cheaters cam night shooting, this is exactly how it goes down. I get to where I'm going and then I set everything up. So I think we can remove this, right? Safety first, right? Safety first. All right. Let's see. Is the mask for sale? Yes, it is. Down below, you'll find it in my store. It is definitely there. A dollar of each sale of that actually goes towards No Kid Hungry, which is awesome, awesome. So take a look at that. And there's actually a big discount that you can find on my Little Caesars Italian Sausage Extra Most Bestest review, hidden halfway into that review. So you can find the detail on how to find some good discounts off of that one as well. All right, we got some H2O TAP 2020. I'm sure this is a good year for it, even though it's technically not a good year overall with everything that's been going on. We won't get into that right now, but let's just get right to it. So guys, welcome to Peep This Out Reviews live drive through extravaganza. What's the temperature? It is 40 something degrees out here right now. It is absolutely craziness in effect here. Robert H with the Super Chat donation. Thank you so much. The official sponsor of the channel in there as well too you guys can be everybody who does donate towards the channel of course you'll find yourself down below in the description as official sponsors and again guys i greatly appreciate the love and support for that everything goes immediately back into the channel and wow this is burning hot wow this is very very hot and actually it's so hot this is almost kind of falling apart here i got to be careful with this box already i can tell but late night action as you guys can see here right now guys late night action and again, Robert, I appreciate again the super chat donation. Yeah, this is crazy, crazy hot. Hang on, let me put this down here. That's hotter than my initial review a few days ago on the Jalapeno Ranch. So I got to tell you, hot tots. It's more like hot to tot or hot to trot. Hot to trot. Hot to trot. Hot to tot. All right. I had a habit. Whenever somebody asks me if I want like sauce, maybe if you guys do this, let me know. Whenever somebody asks me, do you like what, what sauce or is there anything you want on the side? I always feel compelled to get ranch, even though I may not even use it. I mean, I use these obviously when I get back, but it, it kind of is what it is. Leonardo, Leonardo, thanks so much. I appreciate you. I love you guys as well. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let me get this going here. And hang on one second. All right, we got a spork, not a spork, which is good. Nehemiah, what's going on? Appreciate you guys jumping on here right now. And I gotta be very careful with this box because this 
could be a problem. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we got to get a thumbnail real quick. This is the only time you will ever see me do this is when we do these types of videos because obviously I can't do my stylized one before we start shooting. Wow, look at this. The steam is coming off this. You guys see the steam? I don't know if you guys can see the steam. Yeah, look at it right over here. Look at the steam. This thing is burning. Whoa, you have to see this. You have to see this. Man, this thing is crazy. Crazy cheesy, hot and steamy, and I'm alone in my car. Don't get it twisted. Okay, so take a look. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be, whoa. All right, got to do that stylized. Let me see if I can try and focus this. This thing is so much moisture on the inside before I touch my screen here with this. All right, I'm going to try and let me balance my pinky back over here. I don't know how. Well, you know what? I'm just going to cover it up with a graphic anyway, I'm sure. So let me just, wow, this is nuts. All right, there we go. Try and focus. All right, I'm gonna try and capture it. Look at that, that's crazy. I'm trying to capture it. It's not focusing because of the, uh, the light, but. Give me a thumbs up if you think it looks like this is a good shot. One more. All right, that's as good as I can take it right there. This is really very hot, guys. This is already kind of falling. Yeah, this is falling apart. This container is not gonna last here. So let me put something around this. <laughs> when you do this live, you don't know how this is gonna go. Let's see, best shot you're gonna get. Yes, I agree. I definitely agree with that. So with that said, e, yeah, this is, man, this is almost a little uncomfortable to try and do like this because I'm going to be squeezing this a little here. So, well, let's just get into that fancy dancy close up of the goodies on the inside. What we've got here is some crispy tots. Very, very hot. This thing is steaming up the top here. It's pretty crazy right now. Super fresh. Crispy tots fried to a crispy golden brown. We've got a nice cheddar cheese sauce. A little mixture of like uh, other cheese it looks like on there as well we got some bacon that's mixed into that action and uh it is absolutely almost packed this is three quarters of the way packed on this one here and uh yes i do have a forky i do have a fork so can't wait to do this right now let's just get into this let me pull this up here these are super crispy let me pull this one from the top oh man here we go ooey gooey deliciousness Crispy tots, actually, right there. My camera is trying to focus as much as it can. Crunchy looking bacon. We've got a cheese sauce. We've got some crazy situations going on here right now, guys. This is the loaded, sauced and loaded tots, I should say, as I'm losing this one. Let me pick it up with another one here. This is really a very lovely situation here, guys. Look at that. Stringy, gooey cheese. How bad could this really be with chopped bacon on top of ultra crisp tots? <laughs> let's do this here. This has got some crazy cheese pull. We're going to get some on the next round, but let's just do it. Man. Banging. Jack, you are banging. Banging, my friend. Man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go for some gooey cheese pull here. You know what? Let's pull it up. Here we go. Oh. That cheese sauce is rich. It is smoking. Look at the very top on my forehead right there. You see all that stuff moving? That's just not my eyebrows moving like this. It is mad crazy. Steve C, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the super chat donation. Need tots now. Yes, when they're made this well, guys, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that is a lovely situation right there. Look at the gooiness of the cheese. You know I'm all about the details. The trips, in effect. I gotta take a look at your Kit Kat gingerbread house, I think it was. I saw something that was streamed an hour ago. I'm gonna catch that one and check it out. But guys, jump on over to the trips, check out their channel. They've got some awesome stuff as well. Um, but guys, look at this cheese situation. This is ridiculous. Let's just keep going in. This is this is heavenly right now. Mmm. I love it. The bacon is smoky. The crispiness of the tots themselves. This container is completely crushing. It's about to open up here. I gotta be very careful, but the crispiness of those tots, like I told you, 
If you guys have a jack in the area and you get this, you need to make sure you get to it right away because everything begins to congeal together. Let me go for, we're gonna lift this up for you right over here. Oh, I'm gonna lift this slowly. The sexiness of it as it's fallen over. Look at this, look at this action right here. <laughs> this is this is banging. I gotta tell you, I am enjoying the heck out of this right now. And I'm having so much fun doing it with you guys right here online. And I keep dropping it because like they're tots, it's difficult to do, but I just wanna give you some of this glamour shot. This thing is steaming up the front of my, my lens here right now. I can see in front of my light, it is completely smoking up. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Drew says we gotta ranch it up. We'll do that next here, but I gotta tell you, and I'll give you the rating on this one here. Ultra crispy, nice and crispy on the outside. Very thick potatoey goodness on the inside. And obviously when you have the tots and the bacon and everything, it's just so amazing. Let me just get rid of this one here real fast. Mm. It's so good. And Drew, for you, we're doing the ranch. Wow. I gotta be careful with this because this thing is going to open. So we're gonna do a little ranch action in here. Pablo, yes, I love Disney. When it's open, when it does open, I can't wait to go back. Absolutely. We're in truth, 5G definitely here in LA. It's not the millimeter wave version to my understanding just yet, but this is T-Mobile 5G that I'm on right now. If you guys like what you're seeing and everything is clear, let me see a thumbs up because I wanna make sure that you guys are seeing everything as good as possible. I'm gonna pour a little bit of ranch. I'm probably just gonna, you know what, we'll just put a little bit in here on the side. We'll just kind of drop it straight in, just so we have some. I'm trying to do this as cleanly as I possibly can, but I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Hang on one second, let me balance that. All right, there we go. All right, that'll work. All right. So for Drew, all right, we got the thumbs up. Everything is good. Okay, good, good, good. All right, I'm going to try and it's kind of hard to do this in a way that you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the ranch on the side and there we go. All right, so let's try and pull this up for you guys so you guys can see. It's very hard with tots. Like I said, I prefer the curly fry version because everything begins to be what it is. But here we go. This action here again. Those of you guys who don't know what you're looking at, this is the cheddar bacon, sauced and loaded tots here at Jack in the Box. Really lovely situation. And of course it's in the late night container right over here. So we already know Jake, Jack already does it here late night. Let's give this a shot. I can't wait to try it with the ranch. Good call on that, Drew, good call. Mm. Is there anything that ranch does not enhance? Yes, the curly fry was better in that. But, and I said this in my last review for the jalapeno ranch version, I'm not really like, I mean, I like tots. It's been a minute since I've had them. This is the second time since doing that review a few days ago. But I have to say, I don't know. It's really kind of hard to say. I think I'm liking this one more than the jalapeno ranch only because of the bacon goodness. And of course, as you guys can see, let me give you some more glamour shots on the inside. It begins to kind of mesh together slightly, but the quality is pretty nice on this. And the bacon is not too bad. There's a lot more cheese sauce towards the bottom. That's why I gotta be careful with this box. But look at this here. Have you seen it? No worries, you're gonna be watching the replay. You'll see everything through the drive through sequence, everything in there as well. And yes, bacon makes everything better in that, absolutely. Guys, this thing is still steaming. Look at that by my face right now. This is no joke. I have like a chimney stack in my car. If you guys like, if you guys see the smoke right now, let me see a flame here in the chat <laughs> because this is crazy how much this is lighting up the front of my car right now. This is crazy right now. Let's keep going in. Mm. I am so glad I skipped on dinner earlier because I knew I was gonna be doing this. This is really, really good, really good. All right, Annette sees the smoke. Nice, Nehemiah sees the smoke as well. And who else we got here? We got the trips, Mike Domare in there as well. Shelly George, the PlayStation Kings. Nice. Very, very nice. Guys, we got 74 peeps watching here right now. 46 thumbs up. If you haven't smashed that like button down below, please do so and share the stream out, obviously, with the peeps that you know already. 
Stop teasing. Detroit needs Jack. I agree with you. I agree with you. When it's as crazy delicious as this, I totally agree with you right now. Let's go for a couple more and then we'll rate this. And I definitely want to uh, save this up here for a little later. Smoky situation from Freddy Foodie King, another awesome content creator. You know, I got to check out your lamb, sea, and air burger I saw that you did. That popped up in my feed. I got to take a look at that and see what you, uh, what you thought of that monstrosity being put together. Very cool there, Freddy. But here we go. Let's go for one more. Guys, I am absolutely digging this. You can't beat fried crispy potato tots topped off with a cheese sauce and bacon. I mean, come on, it's gluttonous, it's after hours deliciousness, it's fast food at its finest as far as I'm concerned. This is totally a treat super late night, especially during the holiday time because naturally, guys, it is the holiday time and it's December and it's cold. So this is kind of fun. Mmm, ma'am, I am digging this. One more bite. I want to get some of the cheese sauce on the bottom here. I'm going to scoop this actually because I want you to see what I'm dealing with in the very most amazing way. This is the bite. You got the steam right there. Take a look at the steam coming off. This thing is still burning hot right now, guys. It's crazy. We got the wifey in effect as well. Carol is jumping on here right now. I appreciate you jumping on. I will be home in just a bit. <laughs> I'm having fun with 73 plus peeps here in the house right now. i am peep this out reviews on the channel. You already know. But guys, take a look at this right over here. Another lovely situation. And I got to say, like I said, very, very decadent in terms of the flavor. The cheese sauce is rich, just the right amount of saltiness. The crispiness of the tots are awesome. The nice smooth softness of the potato on the inside and like the hickory smoke of the bacon. I'm all about those details. You already know what it is and you're getting it right now because this is easily worth your time. Really, really tasty. We got a bunch of people saying hello to Carol Bond. Great, great, great. That is the wifey right there. Mmm, amazing. 9.5 on this, 9.5. The reason it's not a 10, it's a little bit less from the top in terms of the quantity that I had on the other one. And the cheese sauce is more on the bottom, believe it or not, than it is here. But guys, the flavor is amazing. You know what? I'm gonna go for one more because I gotta show this to you here right now. I got people looking at me. They see the lights on over here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> It's just me with 80 plus people here watching me eat tater tots at Jack in the Box after hours. I love you though. I love you though. <laughs> here we go. Look at that. Look at the gooeyness. Crazy. Crazy. Cheese pull. Which, how far is this going to go? How far? Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> tot down, tot down. We almost lost one right there. We almost lost one right there. Take a look at this. Oh, hang on. There it is. There it is. Now, if I get this closer, this may actually make my eyes cross. I got to be careful here. But crazy situation on this, guys. This really is a lot of fun to eat right now. One more bite, and I think we'll take it from the, uh, the little trapeze rope going up here. Mmm. Bang. 9.5 all day long. All day long on this. And again, I am about to lose this box. So let me fix this real fast. While I'm doing that... For those of you guys who heard the initial drive-through, and if you're catching this on the replay right now, tots or curly fries? What are actually your favorites? Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you actually like when it comes to fries. And obviously, I'm not going to ask if you put ranch on your fries. You can definitely put that up down in the description below, or in the comments, I should say. Very curious to know what you prefer on your uh, tots or whatever fry variant that you like to do. As I'm trying to figure out how this goes, there we go. We'll keep that together. But let me know what your favorite fry is over uh, wherever you like to get fries naturally there. I'm just, just let's open up the conversation. Ranch, what's your favorite type of dipping sauce? Whatever you'd like to add down below, please do that. And uh, obviously, if you have a Jack in the area, this is a no-brainer. If you're a fan of Tots in general, you already know you're going to try this if you've got Jack in the area. Is it worth the drive to actually try it? Depends upon how far. <laughs> naturally, I'll leave that up to you. Um, but I got to say, if you've got Jack somewhat close to you, this is worth checking out because like I said, it's super fun to do late night. Jack is a 24 hour spot. Naturally, most of the locations, at least that I go to are. Um, and I got to say, this is just super fun late night. Hedonistic type of delicious food to have here, guys. It's very, very good um, in terms of just satisfying the itch for something gluttonous. Um, but yes, good fries don't need any sauce or dip, but they need cheese. Melted cheesy, they need cheese. <laughs> so... Lovely situation on this. I think 9.5 is fair. 
Uh, but again, you guys let me know in the, in the uh, comments down below. I keep saying description. Let me know what you guys think. And again, this really is a great addition to uh, the Jack lineup here, especially late night. Pretty tasty stuff. The loaded and sauced, or sauced and loaded. Yeah, it's sauced and loaded. Sauced and loaded tots here at Jack in the Box. Glad to do this as a full drive through review here on Peep This Out Reviews. So super, super fun. All right. With that, let me just put this back inside because I don't trust it. And then we will chill for a bit. And of course, we're going to finish out with a little mini review at the very end. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But guys, a lot of fun. A lot of fun doing this right now. And I got to admit, half the fun of it is doing that drive through So good times indeed. Good times indeed. So 89 peeps in the house here right now. We're coming up on that 90 mark. If we can crack over that 100, that would be amazing. Let's see what happens here. And that says give the rest to the wifey. Yes, yeah, she, she would definitely be trying that. Hopefully by the time I get it home, it won't be all like kind of mushed together. I have a feeling it's probably going to be. So babes, if you're watching this right now, please accept my humble apologies. But people are looking out for you. But I got to do the stream first before I bring it back. Uh, but good time. So let's see here. Dom says curly fries. Okay, very cool. Uh, let's see. Claw and go. You know, I actually asked the wifey to come with me to do this tonight and uh, she respectfully declined because uh, she's busy taking care of something there. So maybe uh, at some point in the near future, you never know. Michael Gunmayer, so glad you didn't have to go back through the drive through. That would have been funny or funner, fun or funny at the same time, possibly. But yes, there was a problem that first time around. Um, I think which one was that? Which was it? The chili fries? I think it was the chili variant. I got to take a look on the live stream, um, the live stream replays playlist to see which one that was there. But that was a good time. That was a good time doing that, guys. It really was. So, yes, it's all mushed together already, E. <laughs> I guess the first ones, right? The first ones on the very top are usually the best, but all the cheese kind of just kind of globbed down to the bottom and it kind of really puts like a little moat in there, but then the container started to open up and I'm like, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't do that right now. I gotta be careful. And that says you should do a live stream from your favorite donut place. You know, I would love to, with the exception of we have a curfew here on the West Coast. By after 10 o'clock, everything is shut down um, because it is crazy situations here. I won't say why. Uh, you know why. I just don't want to say it here just for obvious reasons for YouTube here. But um, it is what it is uh, over here. But I would love to do that. Maybe something earlier or when things get back to uh, normal. I would love to do the, uh, the Donut Man. That's one of my first reviews that I ever did way back in the day. Um, and that place is amazing. Freddy Foodie King, good times, good times. Absolutely, absolutely. It's always a good time when I'm with you guys doing these live streams here, which is always a blast to do. And obviously with the reviews on top of it. Speaking of which, today's review, if you guys haven't seen, um, there is a new green sauce that is kind of trickling out in select markets across the country. I was out doing a run the other day and I stopped by Taco Bell and I saw that they actually had a green sauce, um, like something up by the drive-thru right over there. And I was like, what is that? So I did a little research and kind of saw what it was and I was like, okay, let me see if I can give that a try with just a basic soft taco. And it turns out that when you see their video, if you haven't watched it just yet, I won't spoil too much for you, but I've never had a jelly-like consistency for a sauce. I mean, it's not jelly naturally, but when you see the green sauce, there's something to it that makes it what it is. And I got to admit, I was pretty impressed, not to spoil it too much for you, but when you see what it is, um, granted, it's not free, the sauce you have to pay for, but there's a reason for it. So take a look at that review. I think I've teased it just enough for you there, but it was definitely fun to put that together. And obviously the Jack reviews um, that you've seen all throughout the week, uh, you may see one more. I may hold it, you know, just to kind of see. I may, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet. There's been a lot of Jack in the Box things, uh, but at the same time, we'll have to see, you know, what happens there. Um, I'm kind of on the fence with just releasing another Jack video um, since I'm doing this one tomorrow, which is Saturday. If you're watching this already, it's already live here on the channel as a replay. But considering all the previous reviews, Jack has pretty much covered um, a good chunk of all the new things that are pretty much out over here. They've got a lot at one time. They're closing out the year with a bang here. Um, pretty awesome stuff there, I gotta admit. Pretty awesome stuff. So. Freddie, I hope my Taco Bell has the green sauce. Let me know, Freddie, because like I said, it's not something that's in a packet. Um, you have to see exactly how they do this. And I have to admit, pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, Claw and Go says I should do the McRib once again. You know, third time. I've done it three times. Two times originally, and uh, I did it as a double as the last time. And honestly, I don't want to get into the mode of, you know, when things are back the next year, I have to make a video to show what that is because I can always refer back to that. There is plenty out there to review. 
um, outside of that. So unless something drastically changes with the product, I really don't want to go back and, and revisit that again. I don't like how that looks personally, for me personally. You know, everyone else is, a, it, it is it is what it is. But, you know, doing the double for me, that was kind of the pinnacle, you know, as far as, I, as, far as I'm concerned. And that's really the best, uh, I'd like to leave it at that uh, for that. I think I may have teased, like wanting to do a triple at one point because I was so into it at the time, but we'll have to see. Haven't been to a buffet, Armando. None of us have, none of us have. So, you know, what could you do? What could you do? Uh, let's see, Brewberry Sam Cakes at Dinner Biscuits from Mike Day, all righty. <laughs> Taco Bell and awesome in the same sentence <laughs> from E. I'm telling you, I was pretty impressed with that sauce. I don't want to spoil too much of it, but there's something about it when you see it. Um, the combination of ingredients in that. There's a little bit of a tease that you'll see in my post on Instagram that I put out today. I always put out like a 20 to 30 second clip of my stuff about halfway into the day, um, aside from like a three o'clock, you know, advertisement as well too. Drew, the land sea. An Air McRib Burger coming soon. That is all Drew. I have a feeling you're going to rock that. I have, have a feeling you're going to rock that. Claw and Go. Any plans for Christmas? Nothing except just pretty much staying in and doing reviews and, you know, just doing what I can to keep myself entertained during this time. That's really pretty much all we can do right now. But, you know, with everything going on right now, let's just, let's just get past this time frame. This is kind of a wash this year. Um, I love the fact that a lot of places are still doing lights and they're putting things up and, you know, I have some things up outside my place too. Um, but at the same time, it just doesn't feel the same, you know, at the same, considering everything that's happening. So, you know, we'll have to see from there. But the goal is to keep moving forward because that's all you can do. You know, the past is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why I call it the present. can't believe I did that on the first take, I think. The past is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Yes, that, that's how that works. So um, yeah, we have to look at it that way. So hopefully if I can give you any vote of something good to look forward to, it's that this too shall pass. Everything we're going through will. And um, we'll just get through and hopefully we can continue to minimize some of the things um, that have been happening uh, in light of everything going on. Armando, when did you do your spicy Western from Carl's Jr.? That was done, I want to say maybe three months ago, four months ago, give or take. Uh, that was a fun review to do. Actually, Carl's Jr. is right next door to me here right now, and that's exactly where I did it, uh, at this location in the parking lot area. Um, so I do a lot of my stuff local. I network a lot with a lot of people. A lot of people ask me, you know, finding all of these things, where you go. It's all about just networking, putting yourself out there, and, and that type of thing. Uh, let's see. I haven't tried the fudge-covered nutty Nutter Butters yet, Randy. We actually were talking about that on one of the most recent streams, so I'll see if I can try and find that for a future one. Uh, for sure. Um, I won't be doing any cookies tonight, trust me. After what I just had right now, I don't want to kind of mix that with sweets that way. That way, when I get into what I'm going to do at the very end over here, I think it'll be a nice little dovetail in. So I'll keep you hanging for just a little bit until we get to it there. But just so you guys know, where are we at time-wise here? About 8.35, 8.38 actually my time here. So we're doing all right. We are definitely doing all right. And again, if you guys are coming across the channel for the very first time, I create high quality foodie features here on the channel. Have a look at you know, all the playlist content that you'll see. There is plenty out there for you. A thousand plus reviews doing this a little over six plus years. It's crazy to think, actually seven years now, actually. It's, it's just crazy to think how much time has gone by and uh, how much the channel has grown and continues to grow. And you guys just are loving what you're seeing and watching things evolve and move into the next phase of whatever that will be. Uh, but definitely good times, definitely good times. Uh, let's see here. Annette, if you have one to, if you only have to eat one fast food place wherever, local or a chain, what would it be? In and out. That's easy for me. <laughs> In and out's amazing. I mean, it's just, I prefer it. It's just, you know, one of my favorite burgers. Um, and it's just an amazing flavor. Amazing flavor. Armando, when did you go to the Rose Bowl? Not that long ago for a little cardio, uh, but not that long ago. I haven't been there a little, I want to say maybe about a week and a half now it's been. But at the same time, um, not as routinely as I'd like for obvious reasons. So, you got to be careful. Get a little bit of exercise and then we're back inside. Quarter pounder with no ketchup, no mustard. Add a McRib sauce uh, is more filling from Keep Thinking PC. That sounds pretty amazing. That sounds pretty amazing. That pork patty on pretty much just about everything uh, is amazing. I got to tell you, I really love it there. I actually was, you know, so into it. I posted some pics like a lot of people are, you know, with the McRib being back. It's just a beautiful situation. Um, literally a religious experience because of how tasty and delicious it is. Um, even though it's more routine to come out in certain places more than others. Here on the West Coast, it's been gone for a couple of years. Um, so now that it's out nationwide for the first time in eight years since 2012 um, is an amazing thing. But it's definitely a good time uh, for sure. 
Uh, let's see. Cobb Broussard. It was a $3 sauced and loaded Chipotle chicken fries live stream replay from the tw June 22nd. Oh, wow. That long back. Well, we went through the drive through twice. Kyle, I appreciate that. And yes, there was a $3 option. It's now it's gone up a buck. Um, still delicious, though, guys. And like I said, I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. I'm willing to bet to say, and I really hope this doesn't happen, even at 5 bucks, um, if they make it maybe just a little bit more of like a boat, you know, they have like a certain container like for their egg rolls, which is like a long container. If they can maybe get that and fill it, that way I think, you know, if they decide to raise the price again, that would be pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, wow, it's been that long, actually. That was, uh, that was a good time. That was a good time. Actually, I think I featured that on the Jalapeno Ranch review where I had the graphic of the four thumbnails that came up. And I think that was one of them from the live stream replay, and I think that was the one. Um, but yeah, good times. That was definitely fun times. And here at the same Jack when we did that, which was very cool. Chevy 5-speed. Pablo, I said, oh, Paola. Um, kind of late. No worries. No worries. This replay is available for you uh, tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If it's after the 12th uh, at 12 p.m., you're watching it already. So thank you so much for doing that. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what, you've, uh, what you thought about what you've seen so far. Chevy 5-speed. We have only one Chinese buffet here, and you have to wear gloves. We're getting the food heard and have to go out to eat. Wow, it's crazy. You know, I miss going to uh, Golden Corral once in a while with the moms. Um, I can only imagine when buffets come back in force, we're still going to have glass, plexiglass stuff, and they're going to have to serve you. Um, but it's still, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen with all that? It's just crazy. Uh, let's see here. Going down the line. Randy, ate a McRib from McDonald's a whole lot here. They serve, and, I, and uh, a whole lot here. I serve too, and I love you. <laughs> right back at you. Right back at you. I'm a huge fan of the uh, the McRib for sure. It is definitely an awesome situation always. Add some mystery sauce to those tots next time. Yes, I have to see if that's actually available as a separate thing because that would be something that would be something to try on some of the other options here. And when I did that review, I think I said it was something along the lines of like a honey mustard um, and like a like a tangy thousand. It was it had a lot of tang to it. I mean, it's really, really pretty tasty. Just a little on the small side. I got to be honest, Jack. If you're watching this right now, which I highly doubt... But I got to say, the chicken itself was the bun, the brioche bun was definitely smaller than some of the quote unquote other guys out there who are doing it. <coughs> Popeyes, excuse me. But um, tasty nonetheless, tasty for what it is. Uh, but yeah, the mystery sauce on its own, I got to admit, it is different enough where it really does stand out as being one of the more competitive types of separate sauces because people expect like a spicy mayo, um, classic, you know, that type of thing compared to it. But really, really tasty. I got to admit, it really was. Uh, monorails are your favorite trains from Pablo. I miss the ones over in Disney. I really do. Claw and go. To be honest, Ian, you pretty much make me want to always go out and try new things like the McRib and to make spicy double uh, for that. Thank you. No worries. I'm glad I can do uh, can incite things to kind of flow and make you want to try some different things. Again, it's just I'm just an average guy giving his opinion on uh, what's out there and I'm just doing it in the way that I like to do it there. But I'm glad I'm glad you're liking what you're seeing and it kind of makes you want to try it. Um, always hashtag unsponsored. <laughs> Unsponsored. <laughs> uh, yes, no Rose Parade, Armando. Yeah, there's nothing set up here on Colorado at all. There's nothing like they do every year. It kind of is what it is. Um, but yes, what can you do? But let's see. Green sauce on a bean burrito minus the red sauce is amazing from Sweet Sounds ASMR. I can imagine. That was some flavorful sauce. That was flavorful. And when you see the close-ups of that, I mean, I had a lot of fun. That video was probably one of the quickest videos that I put together. Um, maybe like two hours at the most, just for everything from beginning to end, just everything there. And incidentally, just to give you a little behind the scenes, um, I had no idea what I was going to do graphic wise for that. Um, in terms of just trying to pull aside from just the title out of it. Um, that's all that I could really do. Um, so that's pretty much the graphic that you see there. I had no idea what I was going to do. I figured, let me try and make this as straight as possible and just use that as the ending card, so to speak. Uh, for what it is. But that's what you want to look out for because it looks like that's a national um, where the markets are serving it. That's what you're going to see. Um, typically on the drive through only. Um, and then, of course, it's their regular menu uh, from there. Andrew, congrats on the 30K mark. Thank you, and I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're moving up. It's definitely a lovely situation. Not far off from 31K. We just keep doing the do. Uh, Paola lives in Southern Cali also. Very nice. So you're under the uh, the lockdown as we are. I have until 10 o'clock to actually be uh, off the street, so to speak. Um, except when I do my ultra late night reviews, and I actually I have actually the 7-Eleven review that was done ultra late um, at night. I think that was like after 12-ish, 
by the time I got to everything on that there, and, and everything is literally the witching hour, and also the spicy ghost pepper donut uh, from um, Duncan, which was fun to put together. That was a fun review um, to put, just with all the effects of ghosts and everything during Halloween. Um, I love the late night stuff there. Favorite villain, uh, favorite Star Wars villains, obviously Darth Vader uh, for sure, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, actually first unveiled in the Timothy Zahn version, Dark Force Rising, uh, all the books from back then. Uh, Jabba the Hutt, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of the classics, if anything. Uh, let's see, Nehemiah knew I was going to say in and out <laughs> Lance, yes, over 30K, good times, good times. Freddie, wish they had in and out out, out, out in, uh, you're in Florida, I'm still, yes, but you do have White Castle, and you're going to be getting White Castle soon, nice, nice, I remember when I lived in New York when I was a kid, White Castle was the deal, um, and I love White Castle too, there, the times I've gone back, it was, it's been about nine years since I've been back in that area, um, from my father's funeral and everything, but I remember going back with family, we were in Philly, and we stopped off, and we, we had White Castle, and all that as well, some pretty amazing stuff there as well, Lance, I appreciate the, the kind words, that I am that. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thomas Mordell, thank you. I appreciate you as well. Thank you so much for jumping on. McDonald's needs to hurry up and release its new chicken sandwich. Coming soon. Have no fear. Along with somebody else. <laughs> Have no fear. Already on all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Haven't tried any Fast Bites frozen sandwiches, Randy. Haven't tried any of those. Bri, what it do? What's up with you, my friend? Great to be on here with you. We got 84 plus peeps in the house right now. What time is it on the scale? Okay, we got about 8.45ish or so. As soon as we get to 85 peeps, boom, there it is. You guys ready for the second quickie food review here? I've been sitting on this for a couple of weeks. I want to get this going. Let me see a thumbs up in the chat if you guys are ready for the next quickie review to close this one out for a little bit here. Michael Domayer, we got two of them. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brent says he didn't get to try the McDonald's spicy nuggets. Hopefully they bring them back. Yeah, that would really be something I'd love to see back on the menu. A lot of fun. And yes, have you seen it? I actually watched the Mandalorian episode last night at 2 in the morning. Um, and it was an awesome episode. I mean, they are, they're all awesome. So I was super excited about the, uh, the finale coming up. So we got Sammy T with the thumbs down. I won't take it personal. You know I love you, man. You know I love you. Eva Card says, let's go. We got everybody in the house. We got thumbs up all over the place. We got a little gingerbread man, it looks like, from Kai Gatewood wearing. <laughs> That's cool. I got to catch up. Everybody, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's just get into it right now because I have a feeling I know how this is going to go. And let me know if you guys have tried these because we are rocking out with some flaming Hot Lays. I am all about the nutrition on tonight's stream. Let me tell you right now, it is about to go down. For flaming hot. If you guys have had these, let me see a flaming hot emoji. Let me see a bunch of flaming hots. Let's see if we can light up this chat window with fire. I want to see fire all over the place. And yes, Bradley, it seems like we're all about potatoes tonight. It really wasn't intended to be that way, but that's kind of what it is. Annette's tried these right now. And I'm not giving any kind of hanging can this. You already got it here right now. We got emojis, fire emojis. We're lighting it up all across my galaxy device here right now. It is what it is. Guys, the flaming hot. I thought about doing the hot sauce ones, like just straight hot sauce again. You know, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I did that. But at the same time, I figured, you know what, let me do the Flaming Hot. I'll save this one next, and we'll do the other one that you saw recently on the live stream replay, which is there now. Freddy says these are good. Now, if you haven't seen the most recent live stream replay, I actually did the Flaming Hot Dill Pickle. And I love those for obvious reasons, because the Flaming Hot was actually hotter than the regular hot sauce variant which actually had Frank's Red Hot. For those of you who've never had Frank's Red Hot, um, that's more of a vinegar-based type of heat, at least to my, in, to my understanding of it there. But with this, Flaming Hot, this is just engineered to just be like in your face. So I'm really hoping this is gonna be amazing. And Drew, we'll see about that. I may take a little bit of a break from habanero or any type of spicy chip for a little while. But guys, packaging is awesome. It's as basic as you can get. The very back of this is fiery, spicy, crispy, mmm. So let me just show you guys here as we roll it up here. We'll give you the close-ups. There you go. We don't need to do a close-up of this one, actually, because we're going to be using the tots for the thumbnail for this review, which you guys are probably finding out already. So let's get into this and see what it is. I'm still looking for the one chip challenge, though. E. I can't find that anywhere. I know 7-Eleven had them. And Trip says, grab some milk. You know what? All I have is some agua. <laughs> guys, I only have some agua. That's it. I'm going to let you guys take a look at this. 
you guys can see on the inside before me. That looks good, actually, from my end here. But again, look at the bag here. Look how small the bag is for what this is. Look at that. You see the whole top of the bag? From here up, nothing. We're always consistently ripped off when it comes to the quantity of these things. Yes, Bradley, two-thirds air. Um, that's maybe being a little generous. I got to be honest with you right now. Mediocre points. What do you think would be too spicy for pilgrims back in the day? You know, any type of pepper, I'm sure that's, that's pretty much just washed and cut and used. Well, that would probably be it. I got to be honest with you. Fire, fire, fire from Freddy Foodie King in effect. And again, Freddy's just a really, really cool peep there. Take a look. You want to see a really fun personality? You guys know I'm a fan of happiness and I'm a fan of positivity. I'm a fan of just generating that, that conversation and just feeling that exuberance from people. Freddy's one of those people. The trips are some of those people. Drew's food reviews when he gets on his, uh, his high horse with what he's doing. Which, speaking of which, take a look at the cheesesteak fries. I think I saw something with, uh, with cheesesteak fries and I watched some of that video Freddie, and I got to admit, a lot of peppers, a lot of meat, a lot. That was a pretty crazy situation. I think it was the cheesesteak place, I think it was called. You can probably drop it over here. For those of you guys who are content creators right now who are watching this here on the stream, you know, pimp out some of the stuff that you've got right now on your channel right now. Let us let us know there. Obviously, the Kit Kat, uh, I think it's the gingerbread house, obviously, from the trips. Um, we've got some really, really amazing content that's out there on the channel here right now. So for those of you who are watching this, if you're a content creator, Rep what you've got here in the chat, and let's see if we can uh, we can get some people on over to there. And yes, 92, 99 peeps in the house here right now as we're about to get into flaming hot chips here at Lay's. We got the centennial mark, guys. 100 peeps are watching this in the house here right now. All of you guys who've contributed to the channel, again, thank you so much. I appreciate it greatly. You guys are down below in the description. And uh, I always say that, but in the comments, you know what I mean, in the description as well. But take a look, we're getting into it. Flaming hot let's do this wow these are red these are red boy look at that chip my s20 plus is rocking out that focus right now for you look at that look at that that is redonkulous here we go guys i'm excited about this right now flaming hot flavored chips right here in front of jack in the box here with a couple of people that are sitting here on the curb having something to eat watching me do this right now maybe i'll give them some chips who knows There it is. Classic Lay's saltiness. Drew's all fire in the hole. Oh, man. These are good. Freddy, you're on to something, brother. You're on to something. All of you guys, man, these are hotter than the hot sauce ones by far. Oh, man. That is hot. I have got to be careful with this because... It's caught in the back of my throat here right now. That is, the spiciness is real on this. Hold on, let's go for another. Let's rock out that focus, baby. I love it. I love my device. This is what I use to film my driving sequences and a few other things on the side here in the car. Don't get it twisted. It's all done for uh, up close shots and things like that as well. I will rate them, Claw. we will rate them. But man, classic Lay's. Classic Lay's chips, nice and crispy. Not really getting any greasy type of flavor, but then that flaming hot really begins to creep up and then boom, it just, it's rocking and permeating all around my mouth here right now. And that's just one chip. Let's go for another. Mm. Let's go for a few. Let's just light it up. Mm. Man, banging. Let's keep going. That heat is building. Screw it. We're doing one more. Mm, man, it's so good. It is so good. Man. I am really... Hang on. Hang on one second. The trips. What camera am I using? This is my Galaxy S20 Plus front-facing camera. I think it's like a 10 megapixel on the front here, but the autofocus is on point. And I love it. I've got a 4K Sony FDR AX53 that I use for close-up shots of food as well. But I use my phone actually for a lot more of that because of my live focus feature and things like that as well too there. But I'm actually looking into something else possibly very soon. 
that you're going to see. Hopefully, if I decide to, I'll pull the trigger. We'll see. Uh, but the garlic, oh, man, the spices. Oh, I think I was jinxed. I think I need some milk here right now just to kind of help quell it because the water is not doing it for me <laughs> at all. But I like these a lot. Oh, my God. E, always appreciate when your viewers are articulate and don't slop their food around. Thank you to uh, myself, Paul, and the trips. Th I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a lot of fun doing what I do the way I like to do it. And I know that Paul does it as well. Critical East Japan is a rocking channel. The trips also, along with many other amazing content creators in effect as well. Whew. Let's see, mediocre points. I'll get into, let me answer some of these questions here to let this die down just a bit here. Hang on one second. I wondered a few, I wondered for a few videos, what do you, how would you describe your spice tolerance? I would say I'm like a medium, you know, in terms of what somebody says is ultra hot. I may think is kind of like, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy hot, you know, that type of thing. I mean, I, my tolerance is definitely better than it used to be, but nowhere near than some of the more experienced people who do this type of thing more often. So if I had to rate the heat level of this, the way I'm experiencing it, it kind of feels like maybe seven and a half, like it creeps between a seven and a half up slightly at points because this type of thing with the flaming hot, and if you guys agree with this, give me a thumbs up here. It's like a creeper. I mean, it really kind of gets you as you're going. And the goal with these things is the more chips that you eat, the more it begins to get crazy. But flaming hot tends to hang out for a bit, right? Right now, it's kind of beginning to subside after how long, how long has it been since I've taken this water down right now? Just a little bit, right? Maybe like a, not even a minute or two. Um, it's now beginning to kind of feel like it's backing down. So my tolerance, I think, is decent. Um, but it's definitely... Um, definitely elevated for this type of thing. I mean, it's flaming hot. This is the official. This is the real deal. So it is. Uh, autofocus was so snappy from the trips. I thought it might have been a Canon or dual pix autofocus. Yeah, seriously, when I'm recording my stuff right now, this is actually um, the quality on the Samsung Galaxy S20. Now, the S21 um, is going to be unveiled, I believe, on, Ju on January 14th. And based upon the feature set of that one, it's not too much different from what I have now. Um, so I'm probably not going to be upgrading to that. Um, from what I'm hearing is the front-facing stabilization is going to be better um, on that. So if you're doing a lot of stuff with front-facing cameras and for a jittery, that type of thing, it may be a benefit. More or less everything else is going to be the same, just a faster chip, the usual. So I'll probably upgrade to the 22 because I think um, every couple of years or so, three years or so, I think is a good time unless you got to have the newest tech. Um, I like the idea of the Galaxy S22 Plus, the way that sounds, or whatever it's going to be called then, um, I'll probably do that. Now, then again, I say that now, but if I see a really awesome deal on the 21 Plus, I'll be like, well, maybe I can make some of those features work for me, right? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a gearhead and a gear nerd like that too, Trips. You already know. Um, the Trips are really awesome peeps there. So take a look at the uh, the trio of amazing folks uh, on the channel and you'll see um, what they've got going there for sure. But good times. Drink some ranch, according to E. Ricard. You know what? I can't, I can't bring myself to do that. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Well, hang on one second here because hang on. That helped. <laughs> that helped. That's crazy. It neutralizes flaming hot. That's crazy. I had to do it, Poppy. I just saw it. I saw you at the last minute, my friend. I saw you at the last minute. You know what? Hang on one second. I'm going to see something here. You want me to dip a flaming hot into the ranch and see if it actually does something? Hang on. I am curious. Now you got me all curious right now. Hold on. Here we go. Let me pull. Okay, this one is all right. Let's do this here right now. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm rocking the nutritionist good stuff for you right now on my channel, right? It's crazy. Let's try this with some ranch. E. E. Ricard. I think you just discovered something. Or you helped me discover something that I confirm for you right now. Ranch is neutralizing flaming hot. It's kind of spicy still, just a little. But it's like, nah, nah, you're not having this today. Not today. Let's go for one more, actually. This is crazy. Freddy's all Betty approved. I knew you were going to do that. Freddy, I knew you were going to do that, my friend. This is actually, I. you know what? I don't dip. This is, I think, the first time I've dipped, like, potato chips and ranch. I gotta be honest, I don't do this ever. 
Hang on. Ma'am. And I've said this before. The ranch at Jack, banging. It is delicious. Buttermilk is the way to go. Ma'am, who knew I was going to turn this into a review of flaming Hot Chips and Ranch after a drive through sequence going through and doing this Jack in the Box situation over here right now? Ma'am. E. Ricard, what are you doing to me right now? You are promoting a very bad habit. I'm going to have to do this a little bit more often. That was banging. That was really good. That was really good. Ma'am, I am impressed with that. Yes, ranch has buttermilk. The real deal ranch does anyway. You already know what it is. Wow. Buzz 7332. Thank you so much for jumping on here right now. The super chat donation as well. Thank you. I appreciate you for the country contributing to the channel. I appreciate you, ma'am. Buzz, you probably just saw this right now, but we just did the um, the sauced and loaded tots over here. Cheddar bacon. We just did the full drive through sequence. Obviously, it's on the replay if you're watching this already. But flaming hot, a super delicious situation. We never rated this one. Nine out of ten, by far. Nine out of ten. The only reason it's going to get a ten out of ten, or it's not going to get a ten out of ten, is because I'm tired of these bags being half full. Literally, maybe a quarter full. I got to be honest with you here. But this is easily a favorite chip. I can see why a lot of people like this one, and I'm glad that I've done this. And take a look at that. Flaming hot goodness. Same graphic, I think, mostly compared to the dill pickle variant um, as well which is kind of crazy on this one, but man, really, really good, guys, really good. If you're catching this on the replay right now, drop some comments down below. Let me know if you agree with Flamin' Hot. And do you actually dip your chips in ranch? Do you dip it in like salad dressing? Do you dip it in, I mean, I can see a cheese sauce. I can see like nacho cheese. I could see anything melted like that, but I gotta admit, a lot of places that do really spicy things tend to have ranch mixed into it because I think they're afraid that it's gonna just offend people. So this is pretty much that, I'm thinking. The ranch really cools this down, makes it a little bit more of a pleasurable experience flavor-wise because you get the nice tang richness of ranch with the heat coming from that. So, Jack, if you're watching this, which, like I said in the beginning, I don't think you are, but if you are watching this, you need to do something with adding a little bit of spice to your ranch like that. If you do a little combo with Flaming Hot, I will be all over it. I will be all over it, okay? So shout outs to E Ricard right now. Huge shout outs to E Ricard right now. Um, good call on uh, good call on that. Good call indeed. Nine out of ten. Still a delicious chip, guys. I mean, it virtually is like a ten out of ten. When you get up that high, you already know it's going to be good. Um, but for you spice heads out there, you already know flaming hot is the jam. It has been for so many years. Um, nicely done with Lay's. Nicely done. This was really really good to do. And of course, with Jack. Which let me just bring this up real quick for you once again. For those of you guys catching it on the flip here right now, <laughs> ride the stunner. It's cracking me up. I think this is a crazy revol <laughs> revolution. Probably the most popular chip dip is sour cream based with dill. True, true, true. Well, I wouldn't say it's almost like ranch because that's, well, maybe just a tad. But when you're having it like this, it's different, Rye. It's different. But when it comes to these, Naturally, with the late night action over here at Jack, with their sauced and loaded goodness over here. This is, I gotta admit, for Tots, it's pretty awesome. And again, my favorite is still gonna be the curly fries. I mean, that's really what they started out with with this. It's nice to have a different potato option. I think that's probably gonna be maybe something down the road that they'll do with something else. They'll, they'll do something sauced and loaded. What else could they possibly do? Believe it or not, I would love to see like Jack do like a mac and cheese thing. You know, do a sauced and loaded bacon mac and cheese or do something because, I mean, they have the containers for it. Now, granted, some of these are a little suspect. Uh, maybe make them a little rounder. But if you guys think you'd like to see like a sauced and loaded mac and cheese, I can easily see like a bacon situation. That would be the incentive to raise the price to five or six bucks. And you have kind of a premium type of thing, even if it's craft mac and cheese. If you guys are down with that, let me see a cheese emoji here right now, because naturally you can add like a chili mac. You can do so many different things. I'd be so down with that right now. So down with that. Poppy, A Gaming says he wishes he had a jacket near him. These are, de it's definitely worth it if they're relatively close. Uh, let's see, Poppy says he was close to driving for those tots an hour ago. Well, make sure you film it ASAP um, because I'm telling you, everything kind of congeals together. My last review, and I just did it right now. It's part of the reason I wanted to do this immediately to give you the best possible experience. And I'm so glad how this came out because you can see the steam 
coming off this thing. This was a lot of fun to film right now. But we've got a thumbs up, we've got a cheese, we've got cheese there as well. Michael Domare, the trips as well too. I agree. Chicken fries. Okay, I could see a variant of something like that. They can do a lot of different things. It doesn't have to be a potato, so to speak. I would love to see, like I said, for me, I'm down with chili mac. I like macaroni and cheese. I like cheese with like beefaroni. I like all of those things there. So I can easily see myself getting down with it uh, for sure. So yes, good times. Uh, let's see, going on down the line. No, I'm not putting any chips in the tots. <laughs> Especially right now, this is probably going to need to be heated up just a bit here right now. And Armando, yes, they do have a lot of jack-in-the-box here in California, but they do have them across the country in various places as well. It's just a little bit more limited uh, for sure. And I'd love to go to NYC. My dream one day, believe it or not, aside from just going back to New York to visit some family, is to go back to New York and specifically go to East Village Pizza. Um, I'm a huge fan of that Instagram and a huge fan of Frank and everything that he does on that channel, the owner, he's always cutting pizzas, cutting pies. You could do much worse than subscribing to East Village Pizza on Instagram. Hashtag unsponsored because they have amazing cheesy videos which are insane and I'm always sending stuff to my family. I'm literally my wife's feed with uh, pizza things. I'm like, look, we need to go here. It's what we need to do, so yes. Ride the Stunner, I haven't done any firehouse subs because there is nothing close to me right now, especially with everything going on. Um, nothing that's worth traveling to go get to. Um, that's the main That's the main reason. I'd love to get something done origin eventually you know, from Firehouse. I'd love to try it. Guys, we got 91 plus peeps there. We've lost a few, but we hit over the 104, 105 mark. Amazing situation. You guys blow me away every single time. Um, just being on here right now. Thank you so much. 68 thumbs up, which is insane as well. So if you guys haven't hit that thumbs up down below, uh, please do so. That would be greatly appreciated. Ian Gibson, what's going on? Yo, yo, yo. E. Ricard, when you go back to NYC, you got to try and find the best chopped cheese. I'm down. I am down. You'll have to remind me, though, before that happens, though, and of course I'll let you know. Haven't had pot belly. Haven't had pot belly sandwiches at all, either. Armando, are you going to be live next Friday? That's the plan, unless any something changes. Don't jinx me. <laughs> Don't jinx me. My schedule's been okay. It's been a little light um, this month, outside of what I normally do here on the channel, so at the same time, it's, um, you know, I'm very happy with having a little bit more time, which, by the way, I am so into The Last of Us Part Two right now. I absolutely love the game. I played through all the first one from beginning to end. So I'm about, a, oh, I don't want to say I'm about a quarter of the way into the second one, but um, I'm blown away just, just with what's happening already there. It's just an amazing, amazing game. So I'll be back into that later on tonight for a little while, uh, for sure. Chopped cheese, dying to try that one from Annette Cervantes, she says. Has Panda Express test residents come out with new items? You know, no, ever since everything has been uh, shut down here just for takeout only, there's very, very little of just the basic stuff. And the other day, I actually had a Panda Express with the wifey. She had something called Urbane Cafe, um, which is something close here in Pasadena. They had a panda right next door. I had an urge for like beef and broccoli. Um, you know, and typically I, I usually get like half fried rice and half chow mein, um, but they have quinoa fried rice. If you've never tried that, um, it's a test kitchen item thing at Panda, and they have that here, um, along with the orange chicken burrito, which I've actually done. If you guys haven't seen that review, the Panda Express reviews playlist here on my channel, you've got an orange chicken burrito. That's pretty delicious stuff. Um, this is a similar type of thing where it's only available in the test kitchen or these different types of pandas here. Um, but quinoa fried rice, I mean, it's got such a, you know, the way the quinoa feels, it almost feels like pastina, it almost feels like a noodle. Um, a little bit there. It's like not grainy, but it has all the flavor of fried rice. It was it's really really good. Um, but I had panda. I had my um, my beef and broccoli, and I had my teriyaki chicken, uh, which I like to get, which is always a lot of fun. Uh, but good times there. Dom, can't wait two weeks away for Christmas. Yes, a crazy situation. I can't believe uh, the year is almost out, and uh, I can't wait to kick it out the door on December thirty first at midnight. Uh, cannot wait. Yes, Annette, take a look at that review. The uh, Panda Express, you'll see the close-up there. I think I did a shot of it where they were split in half or I was holding one of them, or I think it's just one by itself, the half of them that's open, um, to take a look at that. Get an iced coffee so you can stay frosty on the way home. I actually went to Dunkin' already today. I did my half mocha, half pumpkin action uh, already today, Drew. Um, I'm not against the idea of getting another coffee again, but you know I know Dunkin' is closed right now, so we'll have to see. Uh, but yes, good times. We'll have to see there, guys. Another couple of minutes, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll wrap this up in just a few. We're coming up on 10 minutes after the hour. And again, guys, I appreciate you being here right now. If you guys like what you saw, let me see a thumbs up here in the chat. I want to know that I'm doing the right thing. 
and that you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Hopefully you got something out of tonight. And if anything, it distracted you from what you may be going through right now. And I'm very big on, you know, taking self-care and taking care of yourself mentally, physically. You know, you got to do the things that are really going to help you, um, you know, get past these rough times here right now. So if you guys like what you saw um, tonight there, let me get a thumbs up here in the chat. Let's motivate some others as well. Um, you guys make the world go round for me without a doubt. And there's some amazing people here in the chat who have been supporting the channel for a very long time, not just with Super Chat donations and PayPal donations, which I greatly appreciate, of course, um, but just being on the channel, making your voice heard, taking an interest, taking part, um, and literally spending the, you know, spreading the good cheer, you know, with everything right now. So for all of you guys who may be going through something right now, believe me, everybody is. It doesn't matter who they are. There's always somebody going through something. Um, I wish you nothing but peace and serenity and good times to come. Um, the bad times are always temporary. There's always more good times than not. Let's just make sure we do what we can uh, to keep those good times rolling more often than not. And that's probably the best way to kind of sum up the uh, the whole evening for you right there. But again, I appreciate you guys for all being here right now. I appreciate all the thumbs up. The trips, you guys rock. You know, all of you guys who are here in the in the chat, you guys are all amazing. Um, and like I said, you make the world go round um, with everything. I got to tell you, it's it's really something else to just be able to to do this for you live. You know, it is a privilege um, to be able to talk to you and to kind of connect with you um, as well on the level that I think you guys can can hopefully see in terms of just you know the type of person that I am and the way that most of you guys definitely are. Um, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, Lesser, thanks so much for jumping on. Last minute, it's all good. You made the chat. You guys will be able to see this. You guys are all rolling through in the uh, the chats, which means that this is going to be in the replay as well. Um, I can't wait to get to back to my normal format once they fix OBS uh, for my streaming software with all of my stuff. You know, we'll see what happens here. But, you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, the trip, thanks so much for all your kind words. Oh, no worries. No worries. I appreciate you as well. Anyone who's doing the doing is as positive as they can be and putting out content that means something to them and that can, somebody can take away from you know, you have won. I mean, literally you have won. And, and that's really the biggest thing is to have as much fun doing what you're doing um, and do it for the right reasons. And naturally that will just convey itself on, you know, naturally when you're creating it. Um, and yes, Freddie, we are one big happy family. You already know what it is. And that I will see you as well. Thank you so much for jumping on here right now. And uh, as we crack this one out here, it looks like we are at 99 peeps currently strong here right now. If we somehow get over that centennial mark, I'll probably kill it right at that point because we want to stay in the triple digits right there but guys we're back up to almost 100 people uh currently right now so we'll have to see what happens here uh ian gibson last thing here yes you heard me on the radio yes i put something in my community post with that i felt compelled to call in to talk about a, a certain app that's available right now and uh, i actually got on the air which was kind of cool and way back in the day i remember being on kabc radio uh, for something else in my previous working life, which was a lot of fun to do. But yes, it was a lot of fun. If you guys want to hear that video or hear the audio of it, take a look at the community tab here on my channel. You'll find a direct link that when you click on it, it's queued up right to when I begin. So you'll hear me uh, talking right away with uh, with what the topic is. And again, I don't think of anything as negative. Everyone always asks me, how do you handle negative comments? I don't look at it as negative comments. I just look at it as a difference of opinion. <laughs> and that's the best way to look at it because negative is a negative word in general. So why even use that? It's a difference of opinion. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to keep it as is just that. Um, but it is what it is. And yes, E, you are absolutely right. You are absolutely right about that. And we'll say no more. Drew's The Situation Food Reviews he is definitely a cool peep. You already know what it is. Claw and Go, you have an amazing weekend as well. I have got a video that I'm working on right now that I am excited to put together. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, and hopefully you will see it early this coming week. Um, most likely you probably will. Usually when I say that, it usually comes to pass, so we'll have to see there. Um, yes, keep thinking PC. I agree with that. That's why I don't take it. You take everything in stride. It's just a difference of opinion. When you look at it that way, it brings it all down. <laughs> it is what it is. But I appreciate you guys for being here right now, guys. We had an amazing, amazing time, or at least I thought so. If you guys thought so as well, let me see one more time. Let me see a thumbs up here in the chat. I want to keep you guys interactive, keep you awake if you're three hours ahead back on the East Coast. I know E. Ricard is definitely on the East Coast, so E, I appreciate you being here right now. It's after the witching hour for you. Thanks so much for jumping on here and for doing what you do. And for all of you guys doing what you do, you guys, like I said, mean the world to me. A lot of hearts and hugs and salutations and to everybody out there. 
Um, it is all about just doing what we can and let's get through this time right now. So you guys have an amazing weekend. And uh, for all of you show sponsors tonight, you guys are going to be down below. If I haven't anyone who has contributed on PayPal, I won't know till after the fact, but I'll make sure to throw your name into uh, into the effect there as well down below. And uh, we will definitely talk to you soon. And I am beginning to kind of freeze here right now with my windows kind of cracked. It is getting very, very chilly. So guys, Michael Domayer, it's after 12.15 in Detroit. What's the temperature over there right now for me, Mike? Let me see how cold it is. Right now, it's uh, I can't really tell. At the earlier... I have nothing I can really check here except for my phone. It was like 45-ish or so, and like like 40 to 45-ish right now. What's the temperature, Mike, over in Detroit? I'm very curious to know how cold it is back east right now. Let's see. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you being here. 43 degrees. Okay, Mike. So you know, I know what you're going through right now because I got it right now as well, and it's it's in my car with my windows down, and I'm I'm getting kind of chilly right now. So. With that, I'm going to close this one out. Again, guys, thank you so much for jumping on. My name is Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, say it with me. Stay frosty. Let's see how many stay frosties we see right here in the chat right now. 48 in NYC from Steve C. I appreciate that. 44 in Frisco. Man, San Francisco is crazy. Ian Gibson, stay frosty. Extra Man 7078, stay frosty. Have you seen a stay frosty? Keep thinking PC, stay frosty. PlayStation Kings, stay frosty. PS5 in effect, you already know what it is. Michael Dumair, you do the same. John's Chen, John Chern. Everybody jumping in here. Shelly George, again, thank you so much. I got your email, Shelly. Huge shout out and a homie hugs to you and yours. I appreciate you. You have a very happy holiday as well. Um, and I appreciate you greatly there, Shelly. Thank you so much. And to everybody else here in the chat, thank you as well. It is 35 in New York for Chevy 5-speed. Craziness right now. Craziness. And it was 55 earlier for Chevy, but now that it's, it's dropping. And before it gets crazy right now and before I drop, I need to drop out of sight right now. So it is what it is. But guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Shout outs to Joey's World Tour as well. Definitely a cool peep. And Ross, in effect. It's like I don't want to leave you guys. I love you guys too much here. This is just too much. So, all right. With that, I'm closing this out. I've got cleaning up to do. We've got flaming hot chips that the wifey has got to try. And yes, hashtag review crew. You already know what it is. The Dayton Live Show. Doing his thing and all the other peeps as well. Trav tries. All the amazing cre uh, the people out there. Uh, Snack King Cole. Uh, just off the top of my head really quick. There's just some some amazing, amazing personalities out there. You already know what it is. Um, but you have a good one as well. Claw and Go. Randy Molina saying hello to everyone else. Ben Nguyen says eat one more chip. Okay, I'm going to do it just for you right now. Hang up. Because Ben said so. I'm going to do it. Why not? Oh, wait. I didn't dip it in the ranch. All right. I'll deal with it. Hang on. Still banging. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay frosty. We'll see ya. Peace.